Hello, and welcome to the Herschel Woody Williams Medal of Honor Foundation Memorial Day Salute. Since we couldn't be all together in person this year, we still wanted to make certain that we honored Memorial Day for its true meaning. We want to remember and we want to honor those brave men and women who have paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. To our Gold Star families, we dedicate this program to your loved ones. They are the ones that laid down their lives so that we can be free. And we dedicate this program to you as you sacrificed one of your own for all of us. To all watching, we encourage you as communities to come together wherever you're at. Say the names of those who've paid that ultimate sacrifice. Reach out to a Gold Star family. Let them know that you're saying their loved one's name. And today and every day, let us all come together to do everything that we can to never, ever forget. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets regular the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Hope y'all are having a good Memorial Day weekend. And uh, I will share a song with you called The Last Parade. And I wrote the song back in 2007. And uh, over an event that I witnessed. Uh, a lady that I had went to school with when we were teenagers, uh, uh, Ray Jean uh, Carnes, her, uh, we got the news, you know, on, on the television and the radio that her son, 25-year-old uh, Sergeant Nicholas Carnes, who was in the Army, the U.S. Army, and uh, fighting in Afghanistan, had uh, lost his life uh, on the battlefield over there, and uh, and of course, anytime you hear something like that, it, it hurts your heart. But when it's somebody you know, and uh, it, it, it touches you a little bit more. And uh, I had not seen Ray Jean in a couple decades, you know, when I got the news. We, we weren't real close, but uh, she was a good person. I knew that, you know, uh, from, from back in the day. And uh, I wanted to... Like, like most people, we want to be supportive, but we don't want to get in the way. And, uh, and so uh, when I heard they were bringing him home from the airport, uh, it was on a Saturday afternoon, I, I just wanted to do something, just something to help that family uh, know they were appreciated. And uh, so I, uh, I knew what time they were coming through over on, a, on a, a good place to watch it on Dixie Highway over in uh, northern Kentucky. So I got in my car and I, I uh, started over there and I had a, a big old American flag hanging off the front of my house on the front porch and, and I thought about taking that flag with me but it was kind of kind of big and uh, I thought to myself I really don't want to draw attention to myself I'm just I'm just there to uh, just be supportive. And uh, I got in my car and I started down the driveway and, and a voice in my head said, boy, you go get that flag. It's not for you, it's for, for that family. So I backed that car up and I got that big old flag and I took it with me. Didn't know if anybody else was gonna be along that route or not, but I knew I had to be. And uh, so I found me a, a spot there and uh, 
and I got out of my car and at first there weren't too many people there. There were just a couple other people there and but you know and, and it didn't take very long. Uh, a lot of people started showing up and a lot of them had taken the flags off of the front of their house too, just like me. And uh, well here come the, the hearse that had a police escort and uh, you'd have thought the president was in that hearse. Uh, the, the, uh, the escort was very honorable, but there were some restaurants and stuff along that main street there. And uh, everybody came out of the restaurants, including the cooks. I mean, people left their, their dinner sitting on the table and came out and everybody just stood there uh, in solemn respect for that family that had just lost their young man. And, uh, and it was appropriate, it was right. And uh, it was a sunny day, but you know, there wasn't a dry eye uh, up and down that main street there. It was, uh, it was very respectful as, as it should be, it should have been. And uh, <clears throat> so that's what uh, the song was inspired by. And uh, a little bit later, the next day, I, I uh, well, it was a couple of days later, they actually had the, the funeral which was actually a little closer to my house. And I had no intention of going uh, because I knew it would be a big affair, very crowded, you know, and I just did not want to be a burden for that family. But I, I ended up a pipe had busted at my house. So I had to stay home from work that day. It was during the, during the job, but I had to stay home. And uh, so when I got done with uh, what I was dealing with at home, it was right right time for that funeral so I said well I'm here <laughs> so I just well go on up there it was just a couple miles from the house and uh, once again I was just staying out of the way but somebody in close to that family had spotted me and, and weighed me uh, motioned for me to come on in a little closer and it turned out it was my cousin who lived right next door to young Nicholas Carnes and his family I, I just didn't realize he lived right next door and that was his best friend so he told me uh Nick's life story there and uh and that's what this song is based on and uh I just figured the good lord uh wanted me to tell his story and so he gave it to me to pass it on and hopefully it brings honor and gratitude let people know uh that a lot of people feel the same way I do we just can't uh thank those families enough and when we get to heaven we'll thank uh, those soldiers those men and women who gave all in person. But uh, here it is, the last parade, and uh, hope it's a blessing. I didn't know the boy, but I had to go. I knew his mom. Many years ago, there were hundreds there, and I was one, come to pay respect to a fallen son. As I left my home, I took my flag. I took my place on the town's main drag. They were little kids and baggers there for a single call to show they care. Thank you, son, for how you fought that day. Thank you, mom, for the son you gave. The least I can do is let old glory away as the tears rain down on your last parade. He grew up next door to a friend of mine. He played football. He had a real good job for several years. Then he felt the need to volunteer. 
Thank you, son, for how you fought that day. Thank you, Dad, for the son you gave. The least I can do is let old glory wait as the tears rain down on your last parade. Married well on a summer day. His anniversary is only weeks away. Now he's laid to rest by his grandpa's grave as the veterans play Amazing Grace. On the other side of heaven's gate, a horse rode up with a brand new saint, and another son had met him there for his first parade at his new town square. Thank you, son, for how you fought that day. Thank you, Lord, for the son you gave. The least I can do is let the banner wave as we gather round for the last parade. Thank you, Gold Star families. We can't uh, show our appreciation enough. God bless you. Hey folks, Aaron Biebelhauser here. I uh, hope you're having a good Memorial weekend. I uh, just want to take a minute and share a song with you, a real special one uh, that I wrote. And I want to send it out to any Gold Star families out there or folks who have lost uh, family members in military service. And especially to my friend uh, Pat Crawford who gave me this incredibly special gift, uh, the Gold Star pin from her brother's passing uh, in Vietnam. But uh, really wonderful gift there, very unexpected thing to receive. But uh, sending a little love to everybody out there. Um, and this is a song that I wrote with my pal, Mark Brinkman. So uh, shout out to Mark. Hope you're doing well, pal. Uh, this one's called Gold Star Mother. <laughs> One morning in April, she said goodbye to her son. As he laced up his combat boots, Uncle Sam gave him a gun. To some faraway country, he went to risk life and live. Just a few short months later, the news he received was so grim. There's a gold star mother with a love like no other. Her baby will never grow old. He left home a young man defending his homeland. His blue stars exchanged for a gold On a cold winter's night A mother stares up at the moon Through tears in December She remembers one taken too soon An empty chair at the table, no presents there under the tree. His courage and valor left a family stricken with grief. Now there's a gold star mother with a love like no other. Her 
baby will never grow He left home a young man defending his homeland His blue stars exchanged for gold A flag and a candle sit on her mantle these days And the pride that she feels in her heart still won't ease the pain So she prays for a world without war and a peace that will last Where a gold star mother just might be a thing of the past. Where a gold star mother with a love like no other, her baby will never grow. He left home a young man defending his homeland. His blue stars exchanged for a gold. He left home a young man defending his homeland. His blue star is exchanged for a gold. So we wanted to share some music with you and I wanted to share this song which is very special to me, a song that I wrote and uh, recorded with my band 30 Spokes many years ago. And it's called Soldier's Lament. And it's a song told from the perspective of one of those brave who laid down their life so that we can all be free. Soldier's Lament. <laughs> She gave her heart to this soldier boy And I got on one knee She knew that her hand was what I was asking for We laughed and we cried It was the very best time My life, don't you see? Lord, I couldn't wait to kiss my baby. Life was sent to war to fight for freedom. It was my heart. She got a letter Lord it made me cry She said hurry home you see Soon a father you will be I said honey the way it sounds I'll be home safe and sound to kiss that baby She fell on her knees Those men came with that neatly folded flag She cried and cried Looked up and said, God, why would you take him from me? Even when she laughed sometimes she cried She remembers the time when I was hers and she was mine. I thought I'd give anything to set me.
light Look down from above With a husband's heart And a father's love I'd give it all back, you see If I could kiss my wife And hug that baby boy I know angels ain't supposed to cry Don't stop the tear from my eye Give heaven back, you see Freedom, it's not free. And there's no greater love than a man laying down his life for his friends. So as we observe Memorial Day, let's remember all those who paid that ultimate sacrifice so that we can be free. As a youth growing up, we were subject to a Memorial Day that it was so different than the Memorial Day that we are experiencing in our society today. There would be thousands of people in the, in the community that would go to the various cemeteries to ensure that those who had given their lives for our America in our armed forces were recognized and honored for their sacrifice. And over the years, we as a society have perhaps lost some of the impetus for Memorial Day, but we should not. It is just as important today as it was years ago because the sacrifices are still being made. And those who have gone before us did it not for themselves, but they did it for us. So I hope this Memorial Day will not be in any way forgotten and that the tribute and honor that is due those who have made those sacrifices, even our own loved ones, that we will pay homage and absolutely remember them on this very important day. In my day, it seemed like Memorial Day was the absolute most important day of recognition, even more so perhaps than Veterans Day. But both of them are very important. And we as a country are free and have all the privileges that we have simply because there are those who are willing to serve. Even today, we are still experiencing those sacrifices of those who love America, who have high respect and regard for our flag, and the, the sacrifices are still being made. So on this Memorial Day, let us all in some way participate. Even if we can't get out and visit, perhaps we can do so within our homes and within our families. So we must continue to have the observation of Memorial Day, and we must not ever forget. Thank you.